Hi, my name's Jonathan. Um, currently in Budapest, uh, doing a project that was supposed to be about aquaponics, but has somehow morphed into something much bigger and broader uh, and, and exciting. Um, but yeah, that's another story. Let me bring you up to date with uh, what we've been doing in Birmingham. So the story begins about four months ago now, in July, uh, I saw a TED talk on YouTube uh, from Charlie Price about the work that he's been doing with aquaponics over the years. And the video explained that aquaponics is a way of growing food that's space efficient, that's energy efficient, that doesn't need good soil, so it's, it's uh, entirely suitable for urban agriculture, and kind of uses um, permaculture thinking and kind of closed loop design um, and a little bit of technology uh, to grow a lot of food in, in a small space. So I instantly became really uh, in, in excited and, and intrigued about this technology and uh, stayed up till about 5am that morning watching uh, hundreds of YouTube videos um, of systems from uh, industrial scale uh, systems in, in disused factories down to small back backyard systems. So it's obviously a very um, scalable and, and interesting technology and I, I started telling my, my friends about it and um, to my surprise everybody was excited about it, not just the kind of green fingered types who, who like to grow plants or, or uh, people like me who are interested in the, the sustainability a aspect, but, but really anybody. I, I think perhaps it's, it's the combination of, of a kind of uh, DIY aspects with sustainability, with this idea of kind of designing a little mini ecosystem that seems really interesting to, to a wide range of people. So I actually realized that aquaponics seem to be quite an interesting way, an interesting kind of hook to, to get people talking about topics like food security and, and climate change and, and resource depletion. So I decided, yeah, I, I had to do it and, and I, should, um, I should build something. I should get people excited and interested in it by, by actually just going ahead and, and building something. And then um, out of the blue, um, basically all of the um, material, well, half the materials I'd need to build uh, a system in my backyard um, just appeared out of nowhere. But, but just to explain, you're probably just wondering what, uh, what aquaponics is. Um, and uh, this is the basic idea that essentially you're growing fish and vegetables together uh, in the same system, in the same little uh, ecosystem. So obviously the, the fish uh, need feeding, but the fish will poo into the water. Uh, micros and, and worms help to turn this fish waste, uh, which is largely ammonia, turns it into nitrates, which is what the plants need. So the plants take that up and they, they filter the water for, for the fish. So yeah, all, this, uh, all these materials uh, kind of appeared out of nowhere, um, managed to salvage these. Um, and actually the first thing that I did was uh, set up a Facebook group. So I, I didn't want to, this just to be my own kind of backyard uh, tinkering project. I wanted to uh, start a movement and get everyone involved in it. Um, I started to scavenge more materials from skips, a lot of wood and, and other materials that I needed to, to, uh, to build the system and, and started to design it as well. And um, in fact, actually, this scavenging process um, generated a bit of publicity, if you like. For <laughs> I, I got asked um, uh, on the street, uh, what, what are you building? Um, what do you need all this wood for? Uh, and I said, uh, an aquaponic system, thinking they wouldn't have a clue. But actually, it turns out that the, the lady I was speaking to, her son, Jack, um, had actually been watching uh, YouTube videos about aquaponics as well and had been bitten by the bug. So he became one of the, uh, the key volunteers in, in the project. Um, this is Jack in his greenhouse. Uh, I also used um, Helmpex, uh, which is a, a great website. It's a bit like woofing in that uh, people can volunteer um, to help with projects, but it doesn't need to just be farming. Um, so I put the uh, put the aquaponics project on there uh, and got quite a few messages um, of whom I, I selected uh, 
couple of French girls who helped me to build the the frame uh, for the for the fish tanks, and, uh, and a Spanish guy uh, Telmo who helped me to do basically all of the plumbing, for the system. So that that worked really well, and it kind of turned my spare room in my house into a, a useful resource really, um, and really powered the the project forwards. So yeah, in um, I also got my friends to to shift. Uh, 950 kilograms of, of beach pebbles into my <laughs> back garden um, and, uh, throw a bit of a party to, to, to finish it off but yeah I mean after a lot of uh, work by um, me and my friends and uh, you know other people that, that I'd met um, it was all done in, in uh, three months so we um, threw a launch party um, and uh, yeah essentially that that was uh, that was it from my perspective. I jumped on the train and, and came here to uh, to Budapest. Um, but the the plants are growing well, uh, and in fact, um, I gave this presentation uh, at the Climate Kit Conference in Bologna in Italy, and uh, <laughs> I didn't even know I was uh, entering a competition. In fact, so it was a bit of a hurried presentation. But yeah, I won first prize. Um, for this, um, so that's that's got a little bit of cash that we could could spend on on taking this forwards. Um, I'd be very interested to hear your ideas about about how to do it. Um, we've also generated some interest. The 1010 uh, website have included uh, our system in in their gallery of of solutions uh, for for cl coping with climate change. So um, yeah, I'm really interested in in your dreams about how this could uh, be taken forward and. Um, if you have any questions or any ideas or or uh, ideas about how it, it might link into other projects, um, please get in touch with me um, or visit the, the website and join the Facebook group. Uh, it's birminghamaquaponics.com. Thanks for listening.